join us and let's pray to the Lord together. Amen. Let's get all excited and go tell everyone that Jesus Christ is still the King of Kings. Amen.
lecture will be Sands of Time, played on the saxophone with Jacob Atkins playing the tubano drum. All right then, Jacob.
is always at work in us. He is molding us and shaping us to be what He wants us to be. Amen. At this time, we will sing, God is doing something wonderful in me, led by Sophia Galvin.
church said amen. Amen. And the church said amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's just it's just good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. I am excited to be here on this morning on this holy ground. Uh, New Beginnings has a special place in my heart and I just want to thank the Lord for all that he has done. Why, why don't you, why don't you, uh, you may be seated. I just want to talk just for a little bit if I can. Uh, thank you first and foremost for the opportunity to come and worship with you. I want to uh, thank your pastor, Pastor Matthew Davis. Uh, for those that don't know, he and I go back like flip-flop house shoes. <laughs> yeah, we go way, 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 way back. I bring you also greetings from the Holman Street Baptist Church, where our pastor is Pastor Mary G. Martin, and we want to uh, 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 let you know that uh, we love this church. And uh, we were just here uh, a week ago, amen, and worshiping and just having some good church. So. Uh, we want the praise and worship and just the spirit of the Lord to uh, continue in our lives. Amen. Um, there are some people that are here that I want to acknowledge. First, I want to acknowledge my mother. My mother is here. Uh, why don't you stand, Mama? Amen. She's 80 years old, man. She still looks good, and I'm so proud of her, and I love her. Thank you, Mama, for being here. My my sister is here. Uh, my baby sister is here, and Cheryl, I love you. Thank you for being here as well. And also, my oldest child is in the building. Thank you. I thank God so much for her. Uh, she keeps me on my toes. Yes, he keeps me going. Last but not least, I saved the best for last. Amen. I said I saved the best. Yeah, the best for last. My wife of uh, 32 years. Yeah. You know, why don't you stand with everybody see how good you look? Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah, that's that's my that's my heart. That's my that's my wife, yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, we don't look we don't look like we've been together that long. <laughs> but yeah, we've been <laughs> we've been <laughs> together for thirty two years. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> yeah, all of them had been good, <laughs> but uh, thank God. Yes, and they get better and better. Yeah. So uh, thank y'all, thank y'all for coming. The beginnings, thank you so much for having me. Uh, some of you may not have had an opportunity to just praise the Lord. You may have been running trying to get to church. Why don't we just, in our own way, just, if you can lift your hands, if you want to stand, why don't we just praise God for all that He has done?
and verse number six. And it reads, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Can I read that one more time? Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. You may be seated in God's holy place. I want to talk briefly under the leadership of the Holy Spirit with the title of the message, What is Your Declaration? What is your declaration? Let me begin by saying uh, you are aware that we live in a world where people are declaring things all the time. Mm -hmm. They're declaring things on Facebook. They're declaring all kinds of stuff on Twitter. They are posting, declaring, making a declaration on Instagram. But I stop by here to ask what is your declaration as it pertains to your relationship with God? What is your declaration? I would for your hearing and the, under the leadership of the Holy Spirit that we see this passage as a declaration from the author, David. Yes, David, who is not asking a question, but instead he's making a formal statement, an announcement. That's what a declaration is. It's a statement and it's a proclamation. It's an announcement. David is making a statement, an announcement. He's saying it is so. David is not debating with anyone. David was not stating a declaration or just saying some type of words. David was making a fact known with one word. Surely. He made it, his declaration known with the word surely. The Declaration of Independence, I know that some of you may be familiar with that document. It is declaring that the United States to be independent of the British crown. It was signed by the congressional representatives of the 13 colonies. And those signatures that are on it include Thomas Jefferson, Benjamin Franklin, and John Adams. And it was ratified July 4th, 1776. Written on this document are the words, we hold these truths to be self-evident. That all men are created equal. That they are empowered by their creator with certain unalienable rights. That among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. I did not come here to debate who the founding fathers had in mind when they wrote this document. I also did not come here to discuss if this document means anything in the age in which 
some rights can be stripped. I came to talk to you about your relationship with the one who created heaven and earth. What is it that you stand for? What is it that you believe about God? What is your declaration? I know what some of you may be posting on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and some of it don't make any sense, but <laughs> some folks post it anyway. They make all kind of declarations. But what do you say about the one who created life? What is it that you say about God? King David was a shepherd boy who became Israel's third and most important king, despite his flaws. David is described as a man after God's own heart. 1 Samuel 13 and 14, Acts 13 and 22. As a shepherd, David was given the job of protecting his father's sheep. In 1 Samuel 17, 34 through 37, David gives the account of how he killed a bear and a lion to defend his father's sheep. David uses this experience as a shepherd to convince King Saul why he should defeat the Philistine champion, Goliath. Goliath, who King Saul and all the entire army was terrified of. First Samuel 17 and verse 11. David uses this experience as a shepherd to create the declaration that we are reading right now. The wonderful and powerful statement of God's relationship with his people. David starts out by saying, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside still water. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley in the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? For thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with all. My cup runneth over. And now we're at our text. Surely. Come on now. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. David frequently declares his trust in God, despite his circumstances. But this is what David is saying. What are you saying? What do you have to declare as it pertains? to the most high. What is the declaration? What's the statement? What do you have to post concerning God? What is it that you have to proclaim about God? Understand that David wasn't a, a perfect person. David was imperfect. But thank God he can use. Come on now. He can use imperfect people. God can use broken folk. God can use people who have been hurt. God can use anybody. He's God. He's God all by himself. God can you can God can use anybody to do anything for him. But can he use you to do something for him? Can he use you today? The one who is keeping all of us together. The one who has heaven and earth right in his hand. Can he exchange your way for his will and his way? Now, new beginning, bless you real good. I'm at the end of our message. But I need your help. I need you to help me close this message out. Right. 
Now you came here to worship. You could have went anywhere that you wanted to be. But you're in the house of the Lord. So I need your help today. Now, when I say the word surely, you say with a loud voice, surely. Let's practice. Surely. Surely. Uh, that's good. Now, let's begin. Surely. God has been good and surely he has been a provider and surely God has been a protector. Surely God is the one who brought you this far. Surely God has made a way out of no way. Surely God has been a healer. Surely God is a comfort keeper. Surely God's a mind regulator. Surely God has fought our battles. Surely God has been a doctor in the sick room. Surely God is able. I say he's able to do what we can think or ask. Surely, come on now, say it like you mean. Surely, 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 he can do what no other power can do. He's God and he's God all by himself. Can I share something with you? I was at MD Anderson and uh, I didn't know what the outcome was going to be. I said, Lord, I'm going to trust you. And guess what happened? Surely, God made it rain. The doctor came back and said, you don't have no cancer. Surely, God's a good God. I said, surely, he's a good God. Can I share with you one last thing? Can I share with you my declaration? Can I, is that all right? Can I share with you what I'm proclaiming? Can I share with you what I'm going to post? share with you right now. This is my declaration. You can take it to Jesus. I said you can take it to Jesus. Whatever it is, you can take it to Jesus. I don't care what it is. I don't even know what it is. You can take it to Jesus. He won't fail. You can take all your burdens. All of your struggles, you can take it to Jesus. I tried it for myself. This ain't nothing I read in the book. This is something I experienced in my life. I tried it for myself, and he never let me down. Well, let me try it like this. I was young, but now I'm old. And I never, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. The good seed begging for bread. Better try it one more time. On Christ, the solid rock, I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Let me try one more time. Jesus went to Calvary to save a rich like you and me. That's love. I said that's love. Well, they hung him high. They stretched him high. He hung his head. For me, he died. That's love. I said that's love. But that's not how. I said that's not how. That's not how. That's not how. The story is. Three days later. Three days later. Three days later. Three days later. He rose again. He rose again. He rose for you and me. That's my declaration. That's what I declare. What about you? What do you say about God today? That's right, God. God bless you, God. I, 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 uh, you don't know. You weren't there. You weren't there when he saved you. You weren't there when he. Yeah. When he healed me. He wasn't there when he made a way. Out of no way. That's why I love him. That's why I call on his name. 
because of who he is. You ought to praise him right now while you have a chance. Praise the Lord today. What is your declaration? And holy God, I do declare that you are God, and beside thee there is no other. Dear God, you've made heaven and you've made earth. But not only that, but God, you've made a way out of nowhere for all of us. You watch all over all of us. You love us in spite of ourselves. You heal us. You protect us. And not only do you do that, but you sent your darling son, Jesus the Christ, to die for us. Jesus who hung on that cross and took what we deserve. Jesus who was crucified when we should have been crucified. Jesus who said on the cross, it is finished. Jesus the Christ who they put in a bar of tomb. But Jesus rose three days later with all power in heaven and earth right in his hand. Jesus, the one who is coming back again for us all, all of your children. Dear God, we thank you today. We thank you for your word. We thank you for sending the Holy Spirit. Dear Lord, we ask that you would lead and guide us, protect us, be with us, Lord. Let us make a true declaration of who you are and the power that you have. Let us be able to share with the world just how good you are. That men, women, boys, and girls might come running what do they need to do to be saved? Dear God, we thank you. Humble our hearts today. Let us focus on your word. Let us get to know you, dear Father, in a personal way. Through your word. Dear Father, we thank you. We thank you for these, for their faithfulness. Dear God, we ask that you bless them in a special way. Dear God, we thank you right now. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you today. Um, thank you for letting me share that message with you. I hope that something has been said that would help you go a little further. And that you would trust the Lord. Because he's worthy. Oh, I said he's worthy. He's worthy to be worthy. Somebody said it should be. Somebody say surely again. Surely God is a good God. At this time, we're going to have our offering and we're going to ask that if you need an envelope, please slip your hand in the air. The earth is moving. And um, we want you to um, give accordingly um, with your tithes and offering. has left me some instructions and uh, Sister Carolyn, am I reading this right? They can sell their offering? No? They can? Yeah. Okay, good. You can sell your offering to lifting.jesus at yahoo.com uh, So we want you to be mindful also of the prayer list. Uh, we see that it is long. And we want to pray for those that uh, need prayer. We also want you to be mindful of the announcements. Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but before we move in further, we want to uh, not miss the opportunity to open up the doors of the church. Is there anyone here who wants to? have an experience like no other who wants to give their life
to Jesus. Um, this is a mighty good time, and we don't want to miss that opportunity um, to extend the invitation. I offer you Christ today. Um, he's an all sufficient Savior. And why don't you come at this time? so much new beginnings thank you uh, for your love uh, and your patience uh, with <laughs> with me I pray that you, you you make sure you tell your pastor that the church is intact everything <laughs> I didn't break that <laughs> let him know everything is good <laughs> we love you so much and uh, we want you to prepare your hearts to give uh, thank you, everyone, for being kind to me and welcoming me into this holy place. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, how shall we have? We'll have everybody walk around. Okay, why don't you stand at this moment, and uh, you're under the leadership of our uh, Everyone, please stand, face the wall, and follow first impressions from the rear. <laughs> that you would bless this offering, let it be used for your glory and your honor. Dear Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, we'll have our rally. God for favor on our lives, our families, and our church. Free black, free black Expo. You are encouraged to support Johnson Johnson Activity Center as they present a free black expo on Saturday, April 8th from 3 o'clock to 7 o'clock p.m. The address is 14030-730 Fondren Road. March and April birthday celebration. Our March and April birthday celebration Will be on Sunday, April 30th, immediately after service. Please mark your calendars. Bible listening and journaling. We are listening and journaling through the Bible for 2023. Don't forget to listen every day. Amen. Please remember those in our prayer list. Rosie Davis, Woods, Hemingway, and Davis family, Flores and Galvan family, Carter family, Betty Brown, Vivian Aslaha, Denise Porter, Raymond Alfred Jr., Jacqueline Torres, Dorothy Sellers, Billy Banks, Kevin and Katrina Whitlock, Beverly Wallace, Omar Galvan, Ed Brennan and family, Darnell Pearson, Joe and Marlene Studevant, Laborers for the Harvest, Protection in Schools, and World Peace. Thank you. Thank you. to again thank you so much for allowing me this opportunity to come and share with you I look so forward to coming back again Amen. And, uh, 
Thank you. 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 Ask that you continuously pray for your pastor and pray for, for his mother as well, who is uh, ill. And so, if nothing else, we're going to dismiss. Okay. Why don't we stand and uh, we'll be dismissed. Father, we ask that you would give us a true declaration that we can declare your goodness and your mercy to this world. Dear Father, we ask that you would protect these, let them go to their destination safely, and once they get there, let all be well. Dear Father, we thank you for Pastor Matthew Davis. We ask that you would give him the strength that he needs right now. Dear Father, we continuously pray for he and his mother. We ask that you would be with her Strengthen her, dear Father, through times like these. Dear God, we know that you are able, and we know that you have the power. Dear Father, we will continuously trust you. Dear Father, we say all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless and keep you. Amen. God bless you.